When constructing your new unit, your first focus should be creating a square and level base. Start by grading and packing down your ground to create a flat surface. Then, construct a wooden box the same dimensions as the foundation drawing for your specific model. Space out wooden joists 12 to 16 inches apart on center, screwing from the outsides, and then double up the outside of the box to provide additional support. Rest the entire system on level concrete patio stones. Open up your package and organize all pieces as according to cut lists provided in the, your technical drawings. Ensure to place material on a tarp or up off of the ground to ensure they are not damaged by water or dirt. Pieces are not always labeled. It is recommended to have a metric measuring tape to measure boards if needed for organization. Arrange your first wall boards on the outside edge of your base and screw down into each corner with provided screws. We recommend having Torx bits from 10 to 40 to ensure you can use your drill with all included hardware. Measure diagonally to ensure base is exactly square and adjust if needed. Continue to screw down first board into base as shown in assembly drawings. Measure again in the corners to ensure this wall is perfectly square before moving forward. Place your next wall boards and push down into place. Use the hip lock that came with the package and a hammer or mallet to ensure boards are tight together. Screw this board into your first wall board with provided screws. Construct your door frame with bottom threshold attached and screw into place with provided trim boards. Continue to place boards around on each wall using only the tongue and groove and hip lock to press each board tightly in place. You do not need to screw in any wall boards after the initial two. Slide windows into place ensuring they are in snug and place any small boards between doors and windows if necessary.
Install rafters in correct notches and screw down onto top wallboard. Place on gable piece and hammer tightly into place with your hip lock. Lay down first roof board and screw into rafter using two screws on each rafter. The remainder of roof boards will attach using tongue and groove and a single screw on each rafter. You may need to cut a roof board to fit at the final edge. Ensure you are attaching tongue and groove boards snugly. Measure out roofing paper and cover entire roof. Attach using staples. To install insulation, attach provided metal U-bars on the eave edge of the roof, ensuring they line up flush with the eave and the edge. These come in 10 foot lengths, so you may need to cut to fit entire eave edge. Secure using provided self-tapper screws every few inches. Slide insulation sheet into the U-bar snugly. You may need to cut the insulation sheets to fit into each U-bar and to cover the roof. Install metal Z-bar on top edge of first pieces of insulation. Again, you may need to cut to fit the length of the roof. Install another metal U-bar on the peak edge of roof and slide in last pieces of insulation to fit. Attach metal roofing sheets or plywood sheathing for shingles directly on top of the insulation sheets using provided screws. Ensure metal sheets line up evenly on the eaves. Oh. 
to install floorboards, lay down boards opposite of wooden floor joists, and secure using a single screw as directed in assembly instructions. Boards are tongue and groove, so ensure they are together tightly before screwing. Install baseboard trim, door and window hardware, and any last finishing trim, and you've made it to lockup. Find more videos and information at packrimls.ca or contact your sales rep for assistance.